video not for kids and not for beginners. Alternating current experiments. Hello Hectugors and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday 3rd of February 2023 and of course I have a new video for you. Here I have a UPS which means uh, uninterrupted power supply and it's mostly used for computers when power is cut off this guy will help you your computer to work on for around 30 minutes depends on the battery inside and this is rated around 300 to 360 watts and there is nothing so inside this big case here was a 12 volt 7 amps or 10 amps battery I don't have that I found this UPS just like this there is the main board that converts from 12 volts up to 220 volts AC from DC to AC it sits like this okay and uh, this guy take a look at this iron let's remove it this and this one whoa Okay, let's measure the transformer and see how big it is. First of all, like this one. 81 millimeters. And this way. By 50 millimeters. Sixty-six. All right. The transformer itself is three hundred watts, and I will test and I will see how much current I can I can pull out from this guy. Whoa. Okay. Here I have a multimeter, but before using the multimeter. You are asking what you can do with a transformer pull out from old UPS. Okay, this transformer have a input and output. It have a primary and secondary coil. But you don't know which wires to use. For example, you can see that wires are coming out from one side and other side. First we're going to measure the wires from this side. Let's see, for example, these two wires, blue and brown. And here we have 0 0.3 ohms. Let's measure brown and red. 0 0.4 ohms. And by the readings on the multimeter, I can see that this is output. The input or primary coil should give much more resistance. For example, these two wires, blue and black, are given 9 ohms. So this is input, this is output. So basically this transformer have two outputs or two coils that, that are give, give two times by nine volts AC current and here I have also three coils but I'm using just one coil for input or primary coil on these wires and I'm gonna wire everything, explain everything and test it. I get a free transformer 
from old UPS device and that is a great because this kind of transformer if you want to buy a new one that will cost you I don't know around maybe 30 dollars now I'm gonna hook up to circuit breaker and connecting to 220 volts alternating current and that current will be transformed from 220 volts through the coils and through this iron on these secondary wires from secondary coils and here I will get 2 times by 9 volts alternating current and let's hook up a car bulb yes okay here and here these two wires come on man. all right as i said it on the beginning of the video this experiment it's not for beginners i'm working with alternating current ac direct voltage Look, you can hear the transformer. Okay, let's measure the, the voltage here and here with my digital multimeter Fluke 70, 17B plus model. I choose AC voltage on the digital multimeter. Now I'm gonna hook up again the transformer, power on. 17.2 volts AC voltage. Good stuff. And now I'm gonna show you with another multimeter how much current is pulling this old car bulb power off all right so now we have 17 volt volts now I hook up another digital multimeter this will show the the voltage drop or the actual voltage AC voltage and here I will measure the amps that the light bulb is pulling from the transformer and on this multimeter you need to choose on amps and this model has it, it, ha, it can measure AC amps and everything is connected I'm, I'm gonna power on right now there is, sit there okay on the fluke it says 16.6 volts and it's pulling 3.8 amps AC alternating current okay everything is connected great and now I'm gonna calculate how much power can this transformer given how much power is So 16.6 volts times 3.8 amps, it's around 70 watts. That means that this transformer is giving right now 70 watts. That is great. Here I have an energy meter that will show us how much power is pulling this guy. Right now 13.6 watts without hook up anything. Whoa. Whoa. How much is that? 800 watts. 200. Whoa. This is good. Let's hook up a light. And the light is pulling 
the light bulb from car 80 watts and look this energy meter can remember how much was the maximum watt consumed from the transformer is 1.6 kilowatts 1.7 kilowatts wow so that was all for today video and i hope you learned something about alternating current and the transformers they convert from 220 volts to down to 9 volts ac but with which with much more power fun thank you for watching